everybody and welcome. So today's project is going to be something a little bit different. I um, have been redoing my store and I'm hoping in September to be able to offer a lot more collars, leashes, different styles, and also some dog toys and uh, I'm hoping for harnesses also. Um, I hope to be able to do it sometime in mid-September to let all of you guys see what I have been working on these past few months. And I also will be definitely putting out some kind of coupon um, so you guys can uh, look forward to that. And... Let's just get started on this project. So today's project, I'm going to be working on a snuffle ball. Now, I have been making these for a little while now and um, been giving them out for people to test for me. And so far, I have not had any complaints. So I thought maybe I could show you guys how to make your own. It's not very difficult and it doesn't cost a whole bunch. And, um... Let me go over the supplies that you need. Oh, if you're not familiar with a snuffle ball, they look like this. Here's two that I have made. Now for these, what you do is you take a small treat and you can stick them in the folds of the fabric and your dog will have to um, kind of sniff it out it kind of helps your dog sink more and um, I can only speak for myself my older dog does just fine with it uh, but Watcher loves this what um, if you're not if you don't know who Watcher is Watcher is my uh, very young border collie that's being trained for psychiatric service dog work and he absolutely loves to roll this around and shove his nose in there um, to try and find the treats. Now, this is not a chew toy and it is not like a tug toy. You want to supervise your dog when they're using this. Also, it's washable, which is just great. Because um, I know with Watcher, he gets his nose in the... Uh, he get, it, it's kind of wet so I, I like to have to wash his and like I said I've been making them for a little while I've been handing them out and have had no complaints so I thought today would be a fun day to do these so the fabric that I have that I'm going to be using and you can use whatever you want um, I'm making mine in 4th of July kind of themed so I've got um, anti pill fleece um, fabric and I got it in a uh, darkish blue and I got red and then I have uh, it looks like fireworks to me so um, I have it in this red white and blue firework print and um, like I said it's anti pill you'll also need um, a pair of scissors I use two different types but one type will just do just fine if that's all you have and you will need these um, zip ties or cable ties. I use the 8 inch and I use the clear but it doesn't matter what color because you won't be able to see them. So for the size of your ball that you're making, whatever, let's push this up. So what, whatever amount of um, inches the circle that you make across that's how big the ball will end up being so for the balls that I just showed you these are five inch uh, balls and I was for, for those I have used you can tell I've used it quite a bit um, I use this uh, it's for it's sorry it's a spool for my pericord and um, I had this left over and I have been using that to draw my circle around so um, this is a five inch from tip to tip or side to side um, circle 
I'm hoping this is making sense. And um, I'm going to make a larger one. So I have this, it's a paint um, dispenser kind of, oh my, I'm tongue tied today. So this is for paint. You know, you can squeeze out your paint and use it. Um, I've been using this like this and this is actually going to be a seven inch circle so it'll be seven inch ball and I just use a sharpie so I'm going to be starting with the red and basically all you're going to do is take your circle put it down on the fabric take your marker and you're just going to go around the whole entire circle. Just like that. I like to do a couple of circles and then I'll cut them. Try to get as close to the edges as you can of the bo bottom part of the fabric, you know, to the sides of the circles. Just try to get them as close as possible. And I wouldn't throw out any kind of extra fabric that you have because you can make smaller ones and you might be able to fit that size circle in there. So I'm going to cut these two out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut on the inside of the circle so I don't have the marker on the circle or on the edge of the circle. So I'm just going to cut around. So I have four, try to get this in the camera, there we go. So I have four piles of red circles and I have two circles in each pile. I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did um, with the red with the uh, firework printed one. So I'm basically going to do eight circles out of this fabric and then another eight circles out of this blue fabric. The same exact size and everything. So I'm going to cut those up real quick for you guys and then I will show you guys how you can put the ball together. Okay so I have my four um, piles here of circles and I have um, six circles per pile so I have two red, two of the blue, and then two of the print. And you can have more than the six, but you need to have four piles of whatever number you choose. So you could do eight, and then you would have eight per pile, and you would have the four piles. So you're going to need now four of these zip ties and the more um, fabric or circles that you would add the more fuller the ball will be. This ball is for Sander and he's got a pretty big snout so I want to make sure that when I use it for him he can get those treats in and it's not too much work for him. Um, as many of you know, but some of you don't know, uh, Sander is 14 years old and he had a stroke. It's almost been a year. So um, he is a retired service dog now and I am making this for him so he can have some fun and I can enjoy it with him. Um, but I want to make it a little bit easier than maybe it would be for Watcher who's only uh, he'll be not 10 months soon, so. So I have my four zip ties. And now, this is where I'm going to use my smaller scissors. But if you don't have these, then I said you can use a regular scissor also. So I'm going to start with one of the piles. 
and I'm going to take the print that's on the top. You can have these go any way you want if you want like the red to be on top or you can put them, you can just mix them up any way you want. I'm going to, I'll start with the red. So I'm going to fold my one circle in half. And then I'm going to fold it in half again so it's a quarter. Now, this is where I'm going to be using my smaller scissors. Many people will take a um, one of these uh, X-Acto knives and they will work it into the corner, close to the corner, and they'll work it in and try and uh, form a hole that way. I have had a really hard time doing that, so I came up with a solution. So my solution to the hole is that you're going to want to cut a very small snip here, and then another small snip right here. So I'm going to, very small, you can feel the scissors cut into it. Pretty small little hole right there. And then another small hole right there. So you have one on the side and then one on the bottom. What happens after, so after you've done that, grab my, you're going to open it up. And you're going to find those holes and sometimes you go t you're so light with it that you can hardly see them uh, but you're going to now go in one of the slits come up through the the next slit on the left side and then go down the next slit kind of just going clockwise and then and then you come up that slit so it ends up being a hole right where I would have dug that knife through or, when you open it up, you can fold it, you find your holes, go through the one hole, all the way to the other side, and then up through the next hole, just like that. And there's your first one. So I'm going to cut the next color. I'm going to be doing red again. So remember, I'm going to snip right here and then right here. Just a small hole. Or cut and another one. All right, now I'm going to fold it in half. Through one hole. And then the next two. And I have it on. Now you can have your uh, one, your, sorry, you can have your fabric with the fold on 
one side and then just do the opposite and have it on the opposite side or you can have them all facing whichever whichever way you want it's really up to you okay so I'm gonna fold this one in half now this fabric is a little bit uh, thinner so be careful if that happens when you're cutting because you don't want to make the holes too big this is the only way that I have found that I can you know put them on correctly I I just my knife just doesn't want to go through it so this is what it should look like it's um got two red two of the print and then two of the blue and I am going to now zip tie it together but I want it to be very loose so I'm just going to slip this zip tie through so once you have this one put together usually I'll put this one to the side and I'm gonna start my next one but before I zip tie it I will show you what to do because you're gonna zip tie it actually to this zip tie so you're gonna take it with a bundle of uh, fabric on it and then you're just gonna slip it through and then you're gonna zip tie it loosely so I'll show you what I'm gonna do for for the next one and um, okay so I decided to do the rest of my circles I did them all and I have four separate um, zip tie piles and here's the one that we did the first one and we zipped it together but it's pretty loose I um, also tried to mix some of them up a little bit and then I kept some with the two it all depends on what you want to do and we can start to put the rest of them on so um I've seen it done a few different ways this is the way that I like the best so I have this one that has the two and then I'm gonna have this one right here and I'm also gonna be zipping this one together so for me I have the ones that are the pair of circles that are together both zipped now next I'm going to take one of the other bundles doesn't matter which one and what I'm going to do with this one is actually I'm going to turn these this way it's going to push it through the two zip ties and I'm going to zip this one on Once I have this one zipped on, I'm going to I'm going to move some around and I these two zip ties are um, the two that I just went through. I'm just finding a different spot to put put the other zip tie on. So you're kind of making like a square. You have the two zip ties that go up and down and then you have the two zip ties that go through. So I'm going to go through those two zip ties that are going up and down and, and I'm going to zip tie this one on. And now what you're going to do is you're going to pull on each one until you make it nice and tight. Once you got those cut, you can start and fluff it out and move it around a little bit. I have not figured out if there's some kind of pattern or what to make um, it more even with you know, the colors. I do struggle with that part a little bit. And I just I haven't figured it out 
if there's a pattern. If you, if anybody's watching this and they, they know of a pattern that I'm supposed to be following, uh, that would be great if you would tell me. But I just fluff it out a little bit so it's not all the same. Yeah. Alright, so that's what this one looks like. And it's a pretty decent sized ball. And like I said, it's for a sander. It's still pretty full. I, I wasn't sure if it, how full it was going to look. Um, I wasn't sure if you went bigger, if it got a little bit looser. But I would say that it's just about the same fullness. Maybe a little bit looser uh, towards the top or the outer side of it. But this is going to be great. Sander's going to enjoy this. I know that. I'll enjoy watching him enjoy it. So what I meant by the colors is you see I got a lot of red right here and then I got a lot of blue right here and I would have liked it more mixed in um, but I haven't like I said figured out what that pattern might be. So yeah. So that's how you make one of these sniffer balls and if you guys make them um, I would love to see your finished work. If you go to my Instagram um, and just uh, send me uh, a message there with a picture of what you created, that would be great. Any of my videos, if I've, I've gotten people send me uh, pictures through Instagram Messenger to show me what they've tried out in my um, videos and stuff. So if you if you want to show me, because uh, I would love to see what you guys are um, doing. Uh, Please uh, go to my Instagram. I'll leave it up on the screen for you guys. Um, I'd love to see what you guys have been doing. It would be wonderful to um, see. And I guess until next time, be uniquely happy and take care.